I wanted to share a moment where I thought to myself, what the hell am I doing here? And it wasn't at a gig, surprisingly. It was at a music industry conference last week in Nashville, as there's pretty much music industry events here all the time. And because I was an artist, I got to go to some of the music industry panels. One of them was kind of on just marketing yourself and doing social media. Now this is more for the artists, um, and I'm more of just a musician, a side man, shall you say. But I still kind of want to like dip my toes in this water and kind of poke around the industry. And I was actually sitting next to a couple buddies of mine who I played with. Uh, one guy, he's a you know he's great at the business end of thing. I think he's actually managing some artists as well as playing. Uh, really smart dude. Uh, other guy, really smart guy as well. I think he actually went to school for like biochemistry. Super smart dude, really great guitar player. And I was like kind of looking at him while we were doing this uh, whole event uh, and looking over at my also my other friend who does arts management stuff. My other friend is like writing down notes and then I'm looking at my other friend. He's just kind of like, Oof, oh. and I was kind of in between there. The meandering point I'm getting to is that I was there trying to take advantage of this music industry conference and trying to kind of expand my horizons, see if I can pick up some things that can help advance my career. They were like talking about all these strategies with social media and how to like, you know, time things and, and I'm writing things out. I'm like, yeah, this makes sense. It's good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I should start texting and emailing people instead of just like, you know, on these platforms and I should, this is the way to appeal to this demographic. And then about like, you know, 50 to 60% of the way in, I was just like, what the hell am I doing here? Um, because I'm really letting myself get into this wormhole, which is fine. But I'm thinking all my energy and brain power and just motivation is being spent on telling people how great I am or finding ways to tell people how great I am, which is, it is very important. You know, marketing is a huge part of the industry. But I was just like, is this what I want to do? Or do I want to be like, you know what? Maybe not as many people know how great I am, but maybe I can be better if I spend more of my time and energy on playing. Um, you know, as opposed to maybe a lot of people can know me, but I won't be as good because I'm spending all my time on, on social media. And afterwards, I was talking with my buddy, uh, the guy who's kind of a little bit more... Um, He's not necessarily aligned for the business side. Uh, he's kind of like me, he just wants to play. And he was just like, yeah, man, after a while, they just kind of lost me. And I think we kind of came to this consensus that saying social media is not free. You think it's a free product, but really it's not a product. It's the user and we are the products. The people who are using it are actually the products and the companies that use social media, advertise on social media, that's what, you know, we are the resource that they are extracting, you know, our attention, our time, our energy. And I think my buddy made a comment that it's meant to suck you in and just like keep you in there and not get you out. It's meant to use you, not you use it is what he was saying. And I was like, yeah, that, that's pretty much how I feel as well. And I was just like, oh man, I never wanted so badly to just like go home and just like play and just, you know, work on some music. But also just wanting to do that and not really taking an intentional role on marketing and networking myself held me back when I was younger as a musician. So what's my point? What's, what's the moral of the story? I'm not necessarily trying to make a point per se, but I'm really trying to communicate how confusing this all is, how overwhelming it all is. And I'm hoping I, I'm communicating. I was like, yeah, there's a lot of thoughts. And then after a while, I just get overwhelmed and tired by it. And I don't necessarily have the solution. I'm not preaching like I have the solution, but I, I just wanted to say that, yeah, I feel that, that sense of being overwhelmed and oh my God, there's so much, I, uh, uh, where do I start and I'm a failure because I'm not doing this and because I'm not going viral here and here. And it, it's, 
we're always comparing ourselves to other people. And I think that can be good and bad. Like when I was in music school, it was really helpful seeing what my peers were doing, you know, seeing them kicking my ass and like learning a style or learning some kind of way of playing that I've never learned how to play before. I'm like, okay, I need to get on that. And it was kind of in a, an environment where it was designed to help us learn. And, and, and it was healthy competition. And I feel like social media is very much like that in an unhealthy way where it is just like designed to inundate you with all these things that I can tell you, oh, you're not good enough. You need to work on this. You need to get this shit together. And then you're just doing all this and you lose who you are. And that's something I'm always fighting with. And I really wanted to say this not as like I have, I'm espousing some wisdom. Um, like I'm some talking head, like I'm some, you know, one of these armchair experts that gets on the, on the internet. Like I, I don't have the answers. I just wanted to share part of the human experience, part of the musical experience, part of the professional experience of like, man, this stuff is overwhelming. I don't know what to do. I just want to give up. And I have those thoughts enter my mind. And, you know, I take a step back. And when those things happen, I say, well, let me look at my goals and my plan, which I write out every year. And, like, what's in line with my goals and plan? And how do I kind of tailor and make my actions towards that? And I have to remind myself every now and again. But, yeah, it's... Social media can be overwhelming. Man, just even doing YouTube and feeling like the, the, the invisible pressure to keep putting content out can, can feel like pressure. Um, and I know a lot of us attach our value to how many likes, how many followers we have. Um, you know, of course I do that as well. But I really, again... My whole goal here is not to be an influencer at all, and I'm, I'm certainly am not with my 300 followers here on on uh, on YouTube. Uh, I think I have 400 on Instagram, <laughs> but my goal is not to be an influencer. My goal is to I'm a musician sharing my experience as a musician, somebody who's trying to advance his career as a musician, doing things both on the music end of things, but also intentionally working to network, build my name, and just share the experience and I think the experience of music is very much like life itself it's just sometimes it's sloppy it's messy you don't know what the answers are sometimes you're fumbling and bumbling and you go to grab something you're like oh I need to be a TikTok guy and then after a while you're like well that was a dead end what I learned from that or before you know it, you spent two or three hours when you could have been practicing you're just mindlessly scrolling so I have no point really other than the fact that I'm not an influencer. I'm just a musician. And if you're interested in what I have to say, if you disagree, if you agree, like, comment, subscribe, follow. Seriously, it really helps. And again, my goal is just to talk to other musicians and kind of normalize this very complicated, messy process of trying to be a professional musician and person in this digital social media world. Thanks for watching.